Hi there, today we got our hands on the Microsoft Surface Studio. It's doing a bit of a tour around the country for a Surface Roadshow. A lot of people are saying that this is the reinvention of the desktop computer. Uh, people are really excited and captivated by the concept of the Surface Studio. In fact, uh, Tom's Guide said that the Surface Studio was an artist's dream. And one Business Insider article was titled, Microsoft's first ever desktop PC blows away the Mac. So the question is, does the Surface Studio live up to the hype? I do have to say that the display is truly amazing. It's almost as thin as the Surface Pro 4, and yet it has a 24 inch, 4,500 by 3,000 pixel display. That's over 13 megapixels on that display. Video, it looks amazing. Everything else that you see on the screen, it just looks real. And when you throw in the Surface Pen, it attaches to the left or to the right hand side in three different positions. And also the Windows Hello face recognition, not to mention the Surface dial. This is truly a unique desktop computer. It has some obvious appeal to digital artists, to architects, to engineers, designers, all of those sorts of creative professions that are used to using a pen in their line of work will flock towards the Surface Studio. It just makes so much sense for them. But what about people like me, perhaps people who don't necessarily work in a creative space uh, or what might be traditionally termed a creative space? Is there an application for the Surface Studio for people like us? I believe that there is. First of all, you can't discount the fact that the Surface Studio is a beautiful piece of hardware and it would look perfect sitting on the desk of a modern office, perhaps in the hand of a receptionist, noting down call details and welcoming guests into your beautiful new offices. You'll also probably see a device like this on the desktop of a C-level executive who has to have the latest and greatest and who wants to be able to work with the very best of equipment. Even those people who perhaps don't work in traditionally what's traditionally known as creative industries still need creativity for their work. We say that the pen is a solving tool and the science really backs that up. If you look at education, when kids work out their problems, uh, perhaps math problems or uh, technical problems, when they use a pen to do that, the science tells us they get better results. So if you need to work out problems to complicated issues, then jotting down ideas, perhaps a mind map or a brainstorm will actually help you to get clarity around the thoughts that you're working on and around the items or the issues that you're working with. And that will help you to be able to move through into a concise and clear solution to your problem. So the fact that the Surface Studio has such a great big 24 inch creative space that enables direct and natural flowing input from the pen means that you can use this device to capture your ideas and to work out your problems no matter what industry you work in. It does require a different way of thinking about computing and a different way of working. But once you master that, you'll be able to achieve benefits that are far in excess of what you could achieve with pen and paper or a whiteboard, and they're far in excess of what you could achieve with a traditional desktop computer that is limited by the bounds of keyboard and mouse.